I remember, you know, mucking around with bikes when I was, you know, when I was six or seven, you know, and just, and, you know, I've always been around bikes and cars and, and you know, hands-on with stuff like that. And I know what I like. I like things a little bit older, a little bit different. Well, first, I, I think on my Facebook page, I was looking at, uh, on the Friendly Facebook page, I think there was a, a notice on there that said, um, just a few days to go before the end of the competition for the Bulmers Build Your Bike competition. Um, got quite excited about that, bought it home, showed, showed my wife and said, look, this is something uh, I might give it a crack. Trying to find um, the frames, uh, the you know, late 60s, early 70s frames, so they're, they're fairly few and far between. I did know where one was. I'd seen one about two or three years ago, just sitting on, an, uh, on a farm down in the Southern Highlands. Um, I knew it was there, sitting against a, leaning against a barn. And I, I tried two or three times previously, and they politely declined. Said, "Look, it was there when we bought the farm. The old guy that had it, um, you know, it's been there all that time." And uh, I thought, "I'll give it a, I'll give it one last crack, and, and say to them, look, this is what I want it for. I want it for this competition." And I supplied them with, you know, a copy of the design brief that I gave to Treadley. I think frames, uh, you know, when I look at uh, when I look at frames, you know, they have a little bit of a personality. So the direction that I go with a build um, is dictated by, you know, that that look of the frame. So this particular frame, the Skidstar frame, it's got a nice sort of sporty look, it's it's swept back, it's got that nice curve in it. Um, and you know, back in the 60s, late 60s, you know, that's what they were, they were the Skidstar GT. It was the, it, you know, it was the racy version of the of the bike, you know. Melbourne Star did a Skidstar, but it was a standard, you know, standard style frame. This was a GT and it was, you know, the sporty version. But this particular one, um, I took down to Peter Bundy uh, at Peter Bundy Cycles. Uh, and the day that I took it in, because um, I needed to have a little bit of work done to it, so the day I took it in, um, Jim Bundy was in there, um, and we're having a little bit of a, a bit of a talk about it. And you know, Jim joked that he might have even worked on this one because that was back when he was at Melbourne Star Building Frames. The basis of the concept for the bike was was ginger, and you know, my concept for ginger was um, painting it just copper. You know, getting a really, really rich copper, um, that, that copper luster out of the frame. Um, so what I did was got the frame sorted and then headed to see uh, Peter at Star Anamalous. He worked on it for quite a while and went and picked it up and was just absolutely blown away at the quality that um, you know he's put into that. So he, he sort of said, look, I've got this copper that I can, this copper colour I can put onto it. He said I can, you know, I can tone it down a little bit, you know, because it's very vivid. I said, no, look, make it as vivid as you can. So as soon as the frame turned up, I think I, I picked it up on the Friday. The Saturday was build day, so build day was great. Just, unwrap everything, get everything out of their packets and um, and just crack into it. It's hand built, you know, none of these frames are identical, you know, I've got another couple of these frames as well. They're all different, you know, there's always something different about them, you know, they're not just mass produced off the, you know, off the production line. I think everyone wants something a little bit unique, you know, I like having something that no one else has got. Um, yeah, no one's, definitely no one's got another one of these. Um, and, you know, it's just one of those things that you, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of me. If I don't like it, it doesn't go on the bike.